I'm moving from 40,000 per month for, for JPS got down to 2,000 plus. So it's, it's a matter of changing habit and enjoying good old sun. Welcome again, family. It's me again. And it's yes, it's another one. We're here in New Kingston, one of my good, good, good customer them. We're here to look at a 10 kilowatt system with a big boy inverter and charge controller in one. 24 batteries and you know enough panels for 10 kilowatts. So in this case it's 24 and the 350 watt panels. So let us begin with the panels. Now I don't know if you can see it behind me. They are there. 24 panels them you can see on this side. Um, this will capture mostly the evening sun. So it's a townhouse and all 24 panels fit just perfectly. You will notice that the roof is fiber shingle. So in this case, you screw down, it's quite safe. And we do add adhesive to the screws as well, just to ensure there's no leaking or anything like that. Once there's a fall on the roof, there should be absolutely no leaking. You can see this roof is nice and steep, no leaking. So family, you see here, how nice and distributed you can you can have 24 panels and a matter of fact up here you can see there's actually space somewhere in this case you know 24 panels these are 350 watt panels the next thing you might want to see is and this one is this one is a special one this one look like was uh, i remember the day we did this work it was hard work but it was worth it so come and take a look at the batch of them you see how it's there we're lucky again Home owner agreed to give us a nice little interview. We asked him a few questions that it might help you to understand, you know, how the solar thing really go. So, stay tuned. So here we are. Up there, we have the the batteries. Just for those who might not be sure, you can place your batteries on the exterior. You can take, you know, the elements. Even the water don't really trouble them as much, but you, you will increase your, your, the risk of, of corrosion of the terminals. That's the only thing to really worry about. You know, but in this case, it's a covered garage. Um, it's grilled in, so you tell us where to put them. Once we think it's sensible, we do it. Once it's not posing any risk to anybody, in this case, it's not over anybody's head or anything. We chop, we chop them up there, no problem. We don't run away from work. We get the job done. Now, in this, naturally in the tour, the next move is to look at the inverter. And boy, I love, I love see these big boys, you know. I love, I love see the big boy in action, you know. So come up and take a look. So here we are now. Um, it's, it's, it's basically tucked away in a corner. You can see the big boy, almost taller than me right now. Can bend down. Tucked away in a nice little corner, there's enough space, one foot of space on each side for proper ventilation. Usually there's a furniture, it kind of blocking it a little bit. So nobody not really noticed it, you know. It's right here in what you'd call the uh, dining area. Right now, 3,500 coming in. The batch is almost full. It warms my heart every time I see one of these in action. You can see the changeover switch up there. This is nothing fancy. 10 kilowatt inverter with a 10 kilowatt charge controller in it you get 10 kilowatt of output night or day as long as your batteries have the power in them it will push out 10 kilowatts even at night time now now have the wi-fi and none of them something there so if you want if you really if wi-fi and them thing there if you want to stay abroad and look at power and usage and all of that then that is something that we would have to add on to it you know we could put put a put in a charge controller with Wi-Fi or something like that. You can put in additional devices or you can just choose a different inverter that have the Wi-Fi in it. But, you know, everything have their little drawbacks, you know? If you want 10 kilowatt, industrial power really, see it here, you get the big boy. And uh, obviously we have, I'm going to plug in this, we have, we have bigger ones too. We have the 20, we have 30 kilowatt, we have 60 kilowatt, and dare I say it, we go over 100 kilowatt. Family, the time has come 
I am one of my best customers them. You know, I love when people treat them system nice. Without further ado, Mr. Whittle, please join us. Alright. Mm -hmm. Mr. Whittle, welcome. Hi, right. thank you for inviting me to <laughs> help to spread the good growth of solar systems. You know, um, I did a lot of research, watched some video, look at the pros and cons, mm -hmm. and discuss with, with essentials what was the best system based on my requirement. And my requirement were possible four AC running at different times, but at least one would be running almost every night mm -hmm. for several hours. And when I do consultancy, the small one in the study has to run for the eight hours. So that, that has been a bit, has to be part of the base requirement. Also, mm -hmm. washer and dryer. No. Get in dryer. Right. Uh, and so those, those run possible twice per week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. And then the usual two two fish pumps, mm -hmm. a small one up and one outside. So one is okay. bigger one. Okay. Um, all the lights are LED, LCD, LED, LED, LED lights. Right. Cool. right. Yeah, man, I mean, um, it don't make sense where's your power around light bulb. Right. So you buy the LED bulbs. Right, yeah. LEDs. Uh, one bulb right. is like 100 watts, right. right? LEDs like what, 9 watts. Mm -hmm. It's like 10%. So and it's a no brainer. Four, yeah, and it's, it's, four, it's four bedrooms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Um, and every bedroom carries a fan. So, so Both a standing fan and an overhead fan. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, how, 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 how was it like? What kind of light bill you paying nowadays? Mm. I well, I got this, this system installed on the 9th of July 2022. <laughs> and um, since that time, monthly light bill has been like 2,000, 2,000, 3,000. Um, yeah. The last one was, I think, just about 6,000 mm. because we had a lot of rain, there was a hurricane, mm. oh, um, and so forth. My and even with gone. that, um, it was still, as against 40, Thousand that I usually yes. pay per month. Oh, you usually pay forty thousand. Yeah, usually pay oh. forty thousand per month, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And that's not running the AC as I run them now, yeah, no right? Problem. Because sometimes during mm -hmm. the days, if if I'm doing work in the study, I mm have -hmm. uh, the AC on. Yeah, it's a nine one. BTU, yeah. smaller one, but the bedroom one is twenty six BTU. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful one. Yeah, but it's but a matter of changing um, how you usually do things but getting the same mm -hmm. level of efficiency mm -hmm. like your splurge and your usage like mm -hmm. we turn on the whole of the AC them when mm -hmm. we know the sun out but mm -hmm. you know i become like a miser when mm -hmm. when, when when you know they so get ready yeah. they start turning off things yeah we keep a check on the weather you know you have it on your phone so every morning you can look and see what sort of day you're going to be like mm -hmm. so you know where or you plan whether you're going to do some washing Washing is not AC with the with the um, with the washing machine, yeah, the, but the, the dryer, dryer which pulls about five thousand watts when yeah. it's running. Yeah. So you usually do dryer. that between say ten and one o'clock. Yeah. So you get six seven thousand kilowatt mm. hours right yeah, there. So, so it, it, yeah. it helps. So you don't drain on the battery because the whole idea is that you want when night come to have your batteries. Mm. You know to to turn on the AC. Mm -hmm. And just lie down and enjoy and not to worry about JPS code. Exactly. That's the bottom line. You know, you expect you'll have a little um, JPS code bill from time to time because it's solar, and therefore from time to time, you know, rainy season and all that. And you know, so you might do a little switch over for an hour, sometime in the afternoon, just to make sure that when it comes night, now you switch over and right rear on the AC and all that sort of thing. So it's it's a matter of changing habit and enjoying good old sun. So wait, what, what would you say to somebody who just don't believe it, just don't believe that a solar system can actually run your whole house? Yes, mm -hmm. I mean, a, it's a legitimate concern. And I've heard it many mm -hmm. times. And the bottom line starts with the panels because that's where it generates from the sun. So once the sun is shining, it's generating electricity based on the technology that is being used. And goes to the, the, the power system which convert it to run your fridge, dryer, washer, um, AC, fans, light, everything. If you notice here, there's a switch. The, the switch, JPS on the side, I'm fully on solar. And I've been on solar from July 9th 
switch a few times because of rainy day and when we had the, the tropical storm watch and so forth. The bottom line, it works. I'm moving from 40,000 per month for, for JPS got down to 2,000 plus, right? Last month, a little higher because we had a lot of rain. But the bottom line is that when I calculate the investment and a panel can last up to 25 years, right? Within three, three and a half years, I, I see my investment by paying off for the, for the system, mm. by the savings of 36, 37. Yeah, yeah. So that's like a 27% return on investment? Yes, yes. You can't get that elsewhere. That it's is hard bad. to get that elsewhere. Anybody who does business know that. Mm. You know, you don't get 27% return on your investment. Yeah. And the fact is... And what you call this now, um, a passive investment. Yeah. You don't have to do nothing. Really, it's yes. very, very passive. Right. Even now and then, you and take a look at it. Right. So you, know? you spend nineteen thousand plus US, say about three point something mm -hmm. million, for like my system, mm -hmm. right? Which is a full system. And the only reason why I have to switch to JPS Co is on God switching from sod to us and rain to us, which needed for the plants anyway. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, when I did the calculation and the savings within three and a half to four years. Um, I would have paid off for the system. And that's with today's rates. And today's rate. And the rates right. increase. And then plus, <laughs> when I was paying yeah. 40000 per month for electricity, I was skimish about using the washer and the dryer and the ACs. Mm -hmm. No, I splurged subject to sun shining, you know? All right, so you right. have it for me. Mr. how was it? I always ask this, how is the installation process? They call, so they come in such and such a time, and they say, look, we're going to run till such and such a time, and we're going to get the thing done. Um, you don't fear in terms of anything being stolen or anything like that, because these are professionals. They come in, get the job done. They clean up afterwards. Many times your workmen come into your place, and they don't clean up. They clean up all around. Wherever they use, um, walk around, and drill things and so forth, they make sure that you, they leave the place as is. And I think that was very commendable. Um, good relationship I had with them in terms of asking them questions as we go along um, about the panels, about the batteries, and about the, 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 the right. inverter and so on. And all of this, you know, they're willing to give guidelines and um, they're really professional, yeah, you know. Yeah, no smoking of thing. You know, you go on some work site and think, no, these are professional. Just right. come in, get the business done, and out. <laughs> the, the work crew, very professional. Come out the van, take out the stuff, set up the things. No over low talking and all that sort of thing. They just get the job done. And I think that's what I admire about them. Oh, but they, um, roughly, I think they took because they came like after twelve months. They get started getting yeah. a little cooler. I think three days. Three days. Right. Well, they in installed 16, well, 16 batteries, 16 yeah. panels first, and then by the other week or two weeks, yeah. um, I negotiated with you uh, and, and put in the additional to, to um, make certain yeah. I get what I want. The team I can work with any day. And that's, I know, for the householders, that's always a concern. Workmen coming in and the way they behave. Yes. Essential crew are really the essential crew, the <laughs> best crew. Right. All right, Mr. Wilson, thank you so much. And it's my pleasure to be able to spread the word and spread the word that Essential Solar is the best because I did a lot of research before I came to Essential and I'm not disappointed in going to, to Essential. So I'm so happy that I'm able to speak the word. Um, I, really, I really have to thank you, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, Mr. and trust me, thanks so much. No respect. Right, thanks. And thanks to the videographer too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family, 10 kilowatt, true 10 kilowatt, 10,000 watts, big boy system. It's our best seller, um, 24 batteries, 24 panels, 350 watt panels. You know, this, this system is, I would like to say, about less than 20,000 US, this system. Doing the job, nice sunny day today. All right, so thanks again, and until next time, take good care of yourself, family. Take it easy.